We will strap on the sword. We will tell the truth. We will deal with the issue. That's the fear of the Lord. And Moses said, whoever will do that will be blessed to this day. And Levi, only Levi said, we'll do it. Therefore, they, only they, became involved in the ministry for the nation. The others were disqualified in that very hour, in that very situation. If I go to my good friend, my doctor, Harry Walters, and Harry takes an x-ray of me, and he sees it in my innards, there is a tumor growing. And then Harry says, you know, I just don't want to upset John. There's a tumor growing that may be cancerous, that should be dealt with, that needs to be taken out. But that'll make him bummed out today if I tell him that. And I don't want to cause John to feel blue or bummed. So I just won't tell him he's got a tumor growing inside. I want him to like me. Then who wants to hear you have cancer or a problem or a potential difficult? Who wants to hear that? So Harry doesn't tell me anything. And later on, I'm deathly sick and I'm on my deathbed and the hospital doctor there tells me, man, your body is full of cancer. And, and Harry walks by, hey, Harry, did, did you know about this? Well, I, I knew there was a potential problem, but I just didn't want to bum you out three years ago when it could have been dealt with relatively easily. I would be real mad at Harry. I'd say, Harry, why weren't you honest with me? You saw a potential problem. You're supposed to be a physician. You're supposed to be a doctor. Why didn't you? Well, John, I, I knew that it would make your day sad and blood would be everywhere if I started cutting up on you. And I just didn't want to do that. Yet that's what many of us do. Many of us do many times spiritually. People that are friends of ours or in the fellowship family or in-laws or neighbors. I, I, I see this problem, but I just, I don't want to make him or her upset because I want to be liked. I want to be thought of as being a nice guy. I want to follow the Dale Carnegie course of winning friends and influencing people. And you can't do it by saying, hey, there's a problem in your life that I'm aware of. There's an issue I think you need to think through. That's not going to make me a popular guy. The fear of man, you see, really, really is a powerful factor that sometimes dictates to you and me about not getting engaged or involved. But Levi, hey, we'll do it. If it needs to be done, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll strap on our swords. There's going to be pain. There's going to be blood, perhaps. But it needs to be done for the whole congregation to be saved. Hmm. What kind of a dad would I be if I saw there next night's family dinner hour I see there Mary sneaking over to where Ben will be sitting Ben's milk and come to the table climb up and pick up his glass and put it to his lips yeah you know I know there's poison in the milk but why cause this turbulence between Ben and Mary and why cause this problem let's just sort of let it be you know Peace, love, and Bobby Sherman. Let's just let it all kind of, you know, what, what, what's the deal? Let's just let it flow. You would say, no dad is going to do that. Nobody that cares about kids is going to let his kids drink arsenic. Mm. That's why in this thing called service, and we're all in ministry, Jesus said, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. That's the key. We're all involved. And here's what he says. Here's what he declares. Speak the truth to one another in love. 
who of us would say, well, I know this person's going there and that person's doing that and those guys are doing the other, but I just don't want to make a problem. I'll just sort of let it go. What kind of a brother or father or mother in a family would let poison go unchecked? What kind of doctor or physician would let a cancer go untalked about? That's the issue here. Now, this interests me because I would think, knowing the story of Levi, I would think it would be any other tribe but Levi. It would have been Judah, perhaps, or Benjamin, maybe. But, but Levi, he would be the last tribe that I would think would step up and say, we're ready to put on the swords and unsheath them and, and, and deal in this way. Why? because of what happened many, 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 many years previously to Levi. Way back in the book of Genesis, Levi. Remember, Levi was one of the 12 sons of who? Of Jacob, right? Jacob had how many sons that became the 12? Okay, Levi, the man Levi, from whom comes this whole tribe ultimately here in our story. Way back in Genesis, there's a story about Levi. One day, Jacob, he's there camped out in a place called Shechem, a town, a village. And Shechem, who lived in Shechem, it'd be like if a guy named Medford lived in Medford, but Shechem, who lived in Shechem, came outside, was walking in the field and saw a young lady and lusted after her and raped her in the field. The young lady he raped, Shechem raped, was named Dinah. Dinah was the sister of the 12 brothers who were the 12 tribes. Dinah was the daughter of Jacob. She had the 12 brothers, Levi and Asher and Benjamin and Judah and all those guys that became tribes. She was raped. Shechem, who raped her, then wanted to marry her. So Shechem sent his dad to go and see if a marriage could be arranged between he, Shechem, and Dinah, the girl that he raped, the sister of the 12 brothers, the sons of Jacob. The 12 brothers were upset their sister was raped and they were upset because their dad, Jacob, whose name was also what? Israel, didn't seem to be doing anything about this situation. And so when Shechem's dad shows up and says, Hey, what do you think? My son, Shechem, wants to marry your sister, Dinah. The brothers said, tell you what, we'll allow this marriage to take place, but, but only on this condition. See, you guys are all uncircumcised. Circumcision is a real key component of our belief system. We're circumcised. It's that outward sign of a, of a, of a relationship, a covenantal relationship with, with God. So we can't allow Dinah to marry a guy who's uncircumcised or to be part of a community that's uncircumcised. So what are you suggesting? Well, tell your son if he's circumcised and if all the men in Shechem are also circumcised, then we will allow this marriage to take place. So the dad goes back and check on the son. He agrees. And the amazing thing, I don't totally understand. The whole community said, okay, uh, that amazes me. But, but all the guys said, okay. And they were all circumcised that day, all those guys. And now they're in great pain. They're really hurting. And that's when Simeon and Levi... Levi, they put on their swords, they strap on their swords, they put on their swords, and they go over to Shechem, they sneak into the city, and they unsheath their sword, and they begin to butcher all of these guys that couldn't fight back because they were in too much pain from just being circumcised. And they murdered every man in Shechem. And they go back. And Jacob, the dad, heard about what had happened. How could you do this? He said with great anger. Wait till the word gets out. 
All the communities in this area will confederate together and destroy us because you have murdered the men of Shechem in this way. How could you do this, Levi? How could you do this, Simeon? And Levi and Simeon and the others said, how could you do nothing, Dad, about the raping of your daughter? 